So I found this hatchet a while back and it works out really good because I need one for my cabin. My other one got stolen. Uh, it's in pretty rough shape. I want to restore it. And I hate to use the word restore because people expect it to be brand new, but I just want it to look good and be functional. So before I start working on this head, I'm going to mark out the handle. It actually, the handle probably takes the longest out of everything. So I took this piece of 4x3 oak. I split it down the middle using my skill saw. I laid down the, the hatchet here and I just did a rough trace. There's a lot of this handle that's missing here. So I'm going to have to fill in the blanks. You can see that the, the swell on the bottom broke off. So I'm going to add that. going to look something like that. So while I work on the handle, I'm going to spray this in brake cleaner and then wrap it in plastic and just let it soak for a couple days while I work on the handle. So to speed up this handle process, I'm going to take my skill saw and make a bunch of relief cuts like so and then pop them out with a chisel. I don't have a bandsaw, so this is the easiest way for me to do it. So I made all my relief cuts. I did what I could with the skill saw and then finished it off with a handsaw. So now what I'm going to do is take my chisel and just pop out all these pieces here just to speed things up. So I chipped away a lot of the excess wood. On this part right here where the swell is, I actually broke a chunk off. So I have to glue it back on and it's pretty easy to do that. So if you ever do break off your swell, you can just glue it back on. So I'm going to let this sit overnight and then I'll work on it again tomorrow. So here we are the next morning. This uh, swell that broke off yesterday is all glued back on. I'm leaving this extra part at the front so this part can go in the in the vise so I have access to the whole handle while, while I'm working on it. I just wanted to talk about some of the tools I use for shaping the handle. I have a hewing hatchet. This is for rough work. My homemade draw knife is also for rough work. Hand plane. This little palm plane for tight areas. This farrier's rasp, the, the rough side, it's really good for shaping. And this caliper for checking the thickness against the original handle. One thing you want to be careful of is when you're shaping the handle, it's very easy to catch the grain and take a big chunk out. <clears throat> so on this picture here, you can see this is your rough handle. And this is how much needs to come off to make it a, a nice fitting handle for your hand. You also want the grain to be going this way for extra strength. If it was going this way, it'd be a much weaker handle.
So I've been chipping away at this for about 10 minutes with my hewing hatchet. You could actually do the entire handle with this if you're, you know, if that's all you had. But it's very important to make those score marks first. It kind of sets your depth. So as you're chipping away, those pieces break off. So I actually feel like I'm getting pretty close. So I went and grabbed the original handle. It's all about making it look symmetrical and having it feel good in your hand. You know, most likely I'll be wearing gloves while using this, so I have to take that into consideration. And this is when you pull out the, these calipers here. Still got a ways to go yet. So I did some power sanding on this thing, some hand sanding. I think it's looking pretty darn good. So I think what I'm going to do now is go outside and just take my sander and very gently take off some of this rust. I want to make sure that I don't heat this up and ruin the temper on this. So I'm going to try to stay away from, from this part. So I took this outside, gave it a quick sanding. And it didn't even feel warm to the touch at all, so that's that's what you want. You don't want to heat this up. I see it's a one and a half pound axe. And you can see the the branding on it. It's made in China. It's got this diamond brand on it. I don't really care what kind of axe it is either. It's just just for around the cabin. So I spent maybe 10 minutes cleaning off the rust, making it look all shiny for the video. But really, I know the environment this hatchet's going to be going into. And I'm not too worried about making it look perfect. Now the fun part is trying to fit this handle.
So I'm at that point where I'm fitting the handle. This is where it gets a little tricky. As I fit it on, I like to leave the rust on the inside of the head. It kind of shows me where to where I need to file more. So these areas where it's, the rust is on there, I'm going to sand that down a little bit more and then try it again. You also want to look down from the back of the handle to make sure your axe head is going on straight. Because uh, you can still fix it. You can shave off a little bit more from one side to correct the, the head if you have to. It's hard to do this on camera. So I'm all done my little hatchet restoration. It probably took maybe four hours. I put linseed oil on the handle to protect it. It's sharp, but not crazy sharp. And normally I'm not a fan of painting the head, but uh, I've been doing it on my last couple of restorations. I think it just looks sharp. It's gonna help keep this hatchet from rusting. And when I've set it down in the, in the woods, it's gonna stand out more.